folks, thanks for tuning in to another Marvel Legends action figure review. We've got the two-pack, the amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, Spider-Man and Spinneret, as labelled as Marvel Spinneret. Um, that's just a licensing thing. So yeah, on the side there we have uh, MJ and, 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 and Peter. Um, from what I know, it's it's um, Mary Jane from another from another universe. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know the story, so. But I like the look of the figures. I think they look great. Awesome to have this Spider Man. I've sort of missed the last couple, and any sort of decent comic book Spider Mans I've had in the past, I have sort of moved them on with the rest of my Marvel collection. So it's nice to have one back in the collection. I really like this one. Um, you know, I just reviewed the Amazing Fantasy one, which is just a really really nice one but this one probably goes alongside it as a great one as well so yeah on the back we've got the accessories we have uh the two sets of thwip hands web crawling hands and fists we have peter parker's head and pretty much the same with spinneret we have fists thwip hands um wall crawling hands and then mj head which is really nice so we'll get a closer look at them um and then yeah a couple of pictures of the figures on the side look good and that's pretty much it. Nice little picture of Spidey on the bottom. That's cool. Yeah, the Spider-Man 60 Amazing Years. So uh, let's grab the figures and have a look. All right, so here we have Spinneret and Spider-Man. We'll move Spidey out of the way. We'll take a look at him just after. Um, I do have my little container of accessories here. So I'll just get the hands out that we need to look at for, for Spinner right here. So yeah, like I said, she has the two thwip hands, two fist hands, and yeah, no, and two sort of wall crawly hands. Um, yeah, another figure that's really nice to sort of pose, really easily, easily interchangeable hands. Uh, this body mold's been used a multitude of times in recent years. Um, well, maybe not years, but probably once they started getting rid of the pins, because um, yeah, again, she's got you know, pinless joints in the knees and, and elbows. So that's, you know, just adds to that sort of nice sort of seamless look to the outfit um, rather than the big pins in the side. Um, for example, like Mr. Fantastic here, the big bulbous pins, which still, you know, doesn't bother me to a degree with most figures, but um, it's nice to sort of see that Hasbro have engineered them out of the, out of the body molds. Um, so yeah, if you're, you know, I'm sure this body's been used for, I don't know, maybe Scarlet Witch, oh, pro probably a bunch of figures to be honest, you know, there's peg holes and cape holes and all sorts of stuff, so but yeah, it's just looking really good, I, I do dig this figure a lot, um, probably not one I'd probably grab if she was on her own, um, but to have her in the collection is, is really cool, I do like her sort of, I don't know, it's a nice sort of contrast to to Peter's sort of, you know, navy, navy blue and red. Head sculpt's really nice. Which is great. Got most of the more modern articulation. Probably the only thing missing is the butterfly joints. I'm not sure whether Marvel have adapted them for the female figures yet. Um, I haven't seen any, but let's just say that again. I'm not a Marvel Legends expert. Um, I do like the little sort of cuffs on the on the pants there. They sort of sl slip up and down. Um, just it's a softer plastic, so it allows for that sort of articulation to sort of move around a little bit more, which is nice. Um, it potentially could break over time, but I don't think there's too much drama there. Um, so yeah, removing that head, we'll pop on the regular. MJ. So yeah, I couldn't tell you whether this was part of the uh, the sort of Mary Jane Watson, Gwen Stacy, uh, classic Spider-Man 94, sort of 94, 90s Spider-Man line that came out a year or two ago. Um, yeah, I honestly couldn't tell you whether it's the same head or not. Um, but yeah, it's, it's nice. I like it. I think it looks good. I did sort of give it a sort of soak in some hot water just because the uh, the hair out of the packaging was sort of sitting out like that. It looked a little bit funny. So just to be able to sort of close them together and have it sort of, have the hair sort of sitting over her shoulders a little bit more. Looks a bit nicer. 
but yeah, a really nice figure. I'm digging this one a lot. Um, yeah, very nice, very poseable, looks great. So yeah, I'll pop that head back off and we'll put her mast head back on there. And we'll move her out of the way so we can take a look at Mr. Peter Parker. So yeah, this is this is another really nice Spider-Man figure. I, I raved about the uh, Amazing Fantasy one. This one is just, you know, equally as good, in my opinion. Um, I'm looking forward to the one that's going to come out in the Classics line. A um, little bit more of a lighter blue. Um, yeah, I'll definitely get a hold of that one as well. Um, yeah, again, they've got the, the awesome sort of body mold for this one with the... Uh, sort of that ab crunch plus the sort of upper torso movement. So, you, you know, you really can get this guy in some really good, really good poses, um, which is which is what you want. Again, pinless, so yeah, newly adapted sort of technology for this figure as well, which is nice. And also the return of toe joints, which is something I haven't seen since the Toy Biz days. I don't know whether they've incorporated these recently or this is... You know, been around for a little while, just haven't seen them. Um, but yeah, I remember all the Toy Biz figures had that. Some of them even had articulated fingers, so that was a bit hardcore back in the day. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not sure whether whether they'd get that in the budget these days to do, like, you know, articulated finger, fingers on a six-inch figure. I just don't think that's something they'd, they'd look at doing at, at this time in this day and age. So yeah, nicely posable again. Got the two thwippy hands there, which is, you know, that's kind of Spider-Man with our thwippy hands. We do have the two sort of wall crawly hands, two fists. And again, if you've got the uh, Amazing Fantasy, um, comes with these hands, you can see, um, let's just grab a thwippy hand. So you can kind of just sort of see exactly the same color from that figure to this figure, so you can interchange all the uh, hands and stuff. Um, I guess the bonus with this figure is, um, also did notice it does have that sort of cutout bit there, the same as the Symbiote Spider-Man that just recently came out, so that's cool. I think a really nice sort of Peter Parker head here, which, again, I'm not sure whether this has been done before. Um, I could have missed it, but I've got it now, which is awesome. So that's cool. I like having the, the two sort of swap out heads for these two figures. I think that's good value um, in my opinion. I, I, I just dig that. Um, so yeah, again, nicely posable. I get those toe joints. So you can really get him in some crazy swinging. <laughs> you know, I haven't played with him to, to its full potential just yet, but... It's a good one. You know, the butterfly joints that bring all the arms right together like that, which is nice. And also lots of uh, movement in the back too, gets those arms all the way around, which is just so good. Kind of jumping out, I don't know. <laughs> Again, another figure that I like to sort of just sit down and, and muck around with when I'm watching TV or whatever. You know, it's always cool to have a couple of figures out and about just to sort of play around with. And, you know, I find if you spend a bit of time playing with the figures as well, I suppose they're just sort of going and putting them straight on a shelf. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you enjoy the figure a little more. Um, I don't know, this may, it might sound a little bit weird, but, you know, as an adult collector, it's, you know, it's nice to feel like you're getting value for money and, uh, you know, to be able to sort of sit there and muck around with them before you put them on the shelf and, you know, you get to appreciate the uh, the toy for what it is, um, which is really, really cool. Would love it if they gave him, like, the, uh, you know, scrunched up sort of helmet, not helmet, but mask, like, like that, but sort of, like, loosely hanging, so just so he could hold it, that'd be really cool. But, yeah, there's Spider-Man and Spinneret. Really, couple of really, really nice figures. I'm really excited to have these in the collection now. Um, just looking at them makes me happy. <laughs> um, hopefully get a couple more of the new ones, like uh, Iron Spider. I've got my eye on. Um, 
Spider-Man Noir and the Japanese one as well, which looks fantastic. So definitely keeping my eye out for more Spidey goodness. It is a good time to be a Spider-Man collector. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Drop your comments down below if you wish. I would love to hear your thoughts. And uh, we'll see you for another one real soon. Thanks, guys.